Now for the juiciest one of them all, mouse cursor UIs. You see, I've uh, created an example cursor here. It's a crosshair with a little red circle in the middle. This red circle is going to act as our hotspot. So for the purpose of this tutorial, let's put a per, uh, microchip on that hotspot. And on that microchip, we're going to put a few things. We're going to put a gyroscope on there so it's always level. We're going to put an advanced mover. And we're going to put some tags. First tag is going to be white and named on a mouse over. Or just mouse over. Okay. Second tag is going to be called mouse click. I'm also going to put in an on tap for my mouse click. Okay, the mover, let's set it to have 100% acceleration and 100% deceleration. This will make sure it doesn't continue sliding on when you release your left stick. Okay, so let's do that. Let's hook up the left stick to that mover. And the X button to our on tap for mouse click. So here is our test button, and I'd like the border to light up when we hover the mouse on it. To do that, we'll use an impact sensor, and set it to, yes, include touching, and require a tag of mouse over. And we'll connect that to the border. And that should work a little something like this. See? When the hot spot is over the button, the border lights up. So let's also add a check for mouse click. We'll just copy that same impact sensor and instead use mouse click. Hook that up to a sound. Maybe hook mouse over to a sound. Let's make some more buttons. Let's take it for a whirl. Now you see the way we set it up by putting the chips to handle on click and on hover means that the buttons themselves handle the code for what to do. That's a very object oriented approach and I think it works very well. Very much. So you can put an on click on anything. So here's a sackbot whose default behavior is to follow the mouse cursor. Looks at it around on mouse over. Breaks into a little dance. Now a mouse click. It does a little jump. So that's Foofles, and I hope you learned a little something about user interfaces. And aw, oh, he loves me. So, hope to see what you come up with in a little Big Planet 2, and goodbye.